my younger days, I tried to be a, a pop star, a heavy metal pop star. I failed. When I was 18, I was, I guess, being groomed to be this television preacher. I went on television a couple of times and had to argue with Catholic priests about God and stuff. There is sin in the world, there is evil, uh, but there's also good. There's good and evil, there's always a, a battle between it. But it's very difficult for, for me to believe in a God if, if my little one's just been run over by a car. Or... Well, there's, there's a time and place for everything. Like, but that's not much help to me. I'm, I'm no, no, crying I'm inside. I'm, that's a wrench in my life. Mm. But you could probably learn from this, situa this situation. I failed at that pretty badly as well. I think the only thing left for me was to be a filmmaker. That was it. That's what I am. Suddenly he just races back inside and closes the door and I said, what's going on? I peer out the window and there's cop cars turning up. After the third car arrived, doing a sweep of the car park and banging on doors, we made the connection that perhaps um, looking like a paramilitary terrorist uh, at a suburban hotel was probably not a good idea. Very attractive blonde barmaid who uh, he was romancing. It made a great excuse to have a production meeting at this location so he could basically chat her up. Hey gorgeous. You know, we were hopelessly bogged. I mean one wheel was totally off the ground, another wheel was up to the rim. Uh, in sand and we were just stuck there. We've done two scenes, we've got six to go and the car's been bogged up the top of the hill. See the tow truck? We had to get the cops out who radioed in and <laughs> got us a tow truck and blew half of our budget. Everything is now coming out of my pocket. Just turn the camera off. Something is fucking ass out of here, right? No, it's bullshit. Can you like, I think we should put the camera off for a while, okay? Just off, off. And these guys started following us in their black van. And this van followed us up the street and then... Let's get out of here. They got guns. They got guns. That's our men in black. Although we'd have procured a permit for shooting in the state of Arizona, unwittingly when we were in Lake Powell, we'd actually crossed the border of Arizona and Utah and we were now shooting in a totally different state, that? unbeknownst to us. <laughs> I was called upon to scale up the side of a hill uh, in full Usul costume, having just finished a shot in the, in the area, and proceeded to uh, initiate uh, a rock slide. You see any small boats coming alongside because uh, there's a fair bit of money on here. This is just as a warning in case they come too close and in case their intentions are not uh, illegal. The more pilot attacks occur in these waters around here, around Singapore Strait, Malacca Strait, around Indonesia, than any other part of the world. Johnson Space Center. Failure is not an option. That's kind of my motto right now. I don't want to fail. It's a lot of money tied up in this place. He's decided to do a bit of a runner and we're chasing him through the streets of Germany. And yeah, ich muss meinen uh, Computer file fette Okay. Yeah? Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. It's costing me probably 25 grand in legal fees just to do all this. So um, 
I hope I get more than 25 grand out of it. We've just found out why it's getting so dark around here at 12 o'clock in the middle of the day. It turns out there's a partial eclipse happening and uh, if that's not a sign of what's about to happen, I don't know what is. So let's go. Now this is a holy site. Apparently uh, some bishop was thrown into the river right here. And if you touch this, you get, uh, I guess, uh, some spiritual inspiration. Uh, I've also heard that the more times you touch this, the larger your penis gets. I'll just keep trying this for a long time. <laughs> 